Man, 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 I ain't no Bob Durkin here. Thanks so much for joining me today for my almost waste of a time look into uh, Michigan football. Michigan football, thank you so much for joining me. If you're brand new here, I'm Bobby Durkins. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. Now, this week somebody shared a link of a video of somebody else who was talking about me. Um, I thought it was hilarious. Uh, they said that I talked about their team, the University of Miami, um, and said that uh, I didn't even do a preview of their team. Uh, also called me an Uncle Lou wannabe. First of all, I started on here before I even knew who Uncle Lou was. Everybody, when I got on here, people started going, you didn't check out Uncle Lou. No offense to Uncle Lou. I'm just saying, I didn't know who he was. Uh, we've talked a couple of times. Really don't know Lou. That's not a good or a bad thing. Okay? I don't really know him. Uh, but I am me, and, uh, um, you know, Lou's doing well, and that's good for him. But I have absolutely no desire to be him, and he has absolutely no desire to be me. To, uh, to look at the first subject, he said that I didn't really need to, I didn't really go over the, the football team. Okay, he said that I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even do a preview of them. And my response to that, especially a, a team that's as bad as Miami, and the team I'm about to talk about, you listen to me. You know your stats, you running backs, you this, that, and the other. Probably better, way better than I do. But I can tell you the circumference of your left tackle's nose, and it doesn't change. Your team's going to suck this year. Most likely. And the same thing with Michigan. Michigan's paying premium prices to a coach to get mm, a little above average results. You know, I mean, last year, last year, paid seven and a half million dollars to go nine and four, six and three in the Big Ten, and then they got spanked by Bama at the end of the season. Spanked at the end of the season, 35-16 in the Citrus Bowl. Is that worth seven and a half million dollars to you? Apparently it is. Horrible with money. You're awful with money. You're just like my cousin when he gets a little paycheck on the weekend, he goes to the flea market and goes crazy. All right? Uh, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to make this short and sweet. For you Michigan fans who's going to watch this. All right? Michigan, you got history. You got world class history. You're going to come down here, you're going to go in the comment section, seen before. You're going to tell me how many national championships you won. You're going to tell me Tom Brady played there. You're going to tell me all the other people who played there. And Clemson hadn't been worth the crap for except the past couple of years. Sorry, I think we've had nine or ten consecutive ten win seasons, two national championships, and a ton of players in the NFL. The team who is really failing is you because you're winning and all of that bunch of stuff. Listen to me. Listen. It's history. That's part of your history. Winning, being a real competitor in college football, being a legit playoff contender, history. Gone. I'm not saying it ain't never coming back. I said it's gone. It's not here right now. Uh, let me tell you who you lost this year. This is just names that, that mean something. Most of most of your offensive line gone. I mean, you you got uh, 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 Jalen Mayfield coming back. Everybody else gone on the offensive line. Shea Patterson, your quarterback. Everybody's like, oh boy, he's gonna go up to Michigan. Really leave it gone. Ben Bredesen, offensive lineman, gone. Lavert Hill, your DB, gone. You got a second, a second year offensive coordinator, okay? It, 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 you, you got blistered by, by Ohio State, all right? You got blistered by Ohio State. So before y'all couldn't hear going, well, what about Clemson and this and this? The team you couldn't beat and beat you by 29 points, we beat them. What do you think about that? Our six foot stick, six stick of a white quarterback ran down the hill, uh, down the field, and burned them. You couldn't stop him. Couldn't. I know you're turning red, about to have a heart attack. Go ahead and call a, call an ambulance. All right, and tell them come pick you up. But that doesn't change the truth. Couldn't stop him, and it does not look like you're going to stop him this year. Let's look at your schedule orders real quick. I'm going to auction this off. By the way, somebody just gave me, a Washington Husky just gave me a $5 super chat. May there tell you, thank you, Washington Husky. 
I appreciate it. Thank you for the thumbs up. Five dollars. That's five ice cold beer. That the beer I I, I drink. That, that's a you know twelve pack. But thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for it. Appreciate everybody else who's messaging me right now in this live stream. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let me talk about your schedule. You can hear my kids screaming in the background. Don't worry. They're just little dictators. <clears throat> 2020 schedule at Washington, Ball State, Arkansas State, Wisconsin, Penn State, at Michigan State, at Minnesota, Purdue, Maryland, at Rutgers, Indiana, and at your favorite place, at Ohio State. I'm staring down a bunch of things right now at Kibichi. You could pull it together and win a lot of these games, but I could also see you blowing it. It does not matter how much talent you have. You keep blowing it. Something keeps blowing Hey, listen, if you if you want every game but Ohio State, I could sit there and go, okay, that's just a hunk they're going to have to get over. No, you keep blowing it. I mean, I mean, last year, you didn't only lose to Wisconsin. Wisconsin thumped you. Penn State beat you. Penn State is a good football team, but you, beat, but you uh, lost to them. You got hammered by Ohio State. I mean, it's not even competitive with y'all. They just come in, they think they, they flick you in the head like you're some type of, I don't know, freshman in high school which shows up to some type of college sorority party trying to hit on the girls and one of the football players comes in and flicks you in the head. You, you're not competitive. And you're paying, I love it, seven and a half million dollars for it. Just to the head coach. Seven and a half million dollars for four losses. You know, I, I'm going to just tell you, it does not make sense. It's not that good. You, you, you are paying way too much for way too little. Um, Dylan McCaffrey, most likely, is going to lead your offense. If you play musical chairs with your quarterback, that means there's, there's probably a big problem. And you're probably going to get your head beat in. All right. I don't need to tell you the GPA of your offensive line to let you know that you're probably going to get dominated if that continues to happen. There's very few names, if any, that really jumps off the page when I look at your roster. I mean, there's talent there, Nico Collins. I'm not taking away from that. But I'm telling you, there's nothing that jumps out and goes, boy, we're going to be competitive. There's nothing I could say. There's no fairy dust I can sprinkle on your little team that's going to make that $7.5 million you're paying worth it. Sweeney gets paid a lot of money. He worked his way up. you got to think about this. Uh, Coach O, who just beat us, unfortunately, don't like to think about it, just beat us, was only making $3.3, $3.5 million, and he won the national championship. I don't get why these schools come out. I know he had history in the NFL. didn't turn out well, by the way. Didn't turn out good. Turned out bad. You gotta go get your winner. I mean, you did good at Stanford. Let's back a Brinks truck up and let him decide his salary. Bad idea. Coach O worked his way up, and he still, from what I can remember, is not making as much as, as Harbaugh. Uh, so, if I'm Harbaugh, I'm happy. I'm like, Let's, I make money no matter what. They'll just give it to me right off the bat. I don't even have to do anything. That's why I bring it up. Y'all's team, you need to pull together, you need to decide who you are because right now, the Michigan of old is the Michigan of old because Michigan of new absolutely sucks. I'm Bobby Durkins. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. I'm Bobby Durkins. You keep showing up. I'll keep showing out.